Nearly one million Americans are living with multiple sclerosis. Now, there are dozens of drugs approved to help treat symptoms of the disease or slow down its course. Now, new research is offering hope, not with a drug, but by changing how patients eat, as Shelley Botot explains in Health Watch. New research shows fasting a couple days a week could potentially have big benefits for people with multiple sclerosis. Amy Thomas was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 13 years ago. It's just another component of my life to manage. It's not defining who I am. Today, she's getting blood drawn to measure the benefits of intermittent fasting. In the study, she eats non-starchy vegetable two days a week. She eats what she wants the other five days. I'm hopeful that this is going to show implications that are going to be beneficial and help. Neurologist Ann Cross is hopeful too. Intermittent fasting reduces the inflammatory profile in the blood and um, possibly in the central nervous system. The potential benefit of fasting was an accidental discovery. In a study on mice immunized to develop MS, one mouse had abnormal teeth. That particular mouse that couldn't eat well didn't get it. When his teeth were fixed, the mouse ate better and soon developed the animal model of the disease. That led to further research. It delayed onset of this animal model. It reduced the severity. The mice had much less pathology. They had less nerve fiber loss. An early study in humans shows encouraging effects. We've got the publicist. <laughs> yes, we have to. <laughs> it seemed to change their immune system. It won't replace drugs for MS, but it could be a valuable addition to them. Amy says she'll keep fasting one day a week after the study. Ultimately, I want to be in control of this body, not allow the disease to be. Dr. Cross says intermittent fasting seems to have an anti-inflammatory effect. This could actually change the course of the disease rather than be a treatment to manage the symptoms. The next step is to do a larger trial with more patients. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.